Well, if you've seen me teach even once, you know I'm a big fan of smart objects. I also tend to talk a lot about layer comps, which have been around for a long time, but probably, a, I think, a fairly underused feature of Photoshop. In fact, almost every time I show layer comps, people are like, oh, is this new? And I'm like, no, it's actually been around for quite a long time, but I think it's, it uh, is one of those hidden features only because people maybe didn't discover it or didn't understand completely what it did. So in this release of Photoshop CC, there's a couple of enhancements that are really, really nice that combine layer comps and smart objects. So in case you haven't seen layer comps before, quick little review. I have a document here that has a whole series of layers to create a logo and I want to have different versions of them. So as I click on them, you see this is one that's a showing red with some texture, then I have red without a texture. If I scroll up, you can see the difference is it's automatically either showing this mask or hiding it. So as you'll see in a second, what I did is I went through and I made a change and then made it a layer comp. I added a black and white adjustment layer to make a gray one with no texture, a gray with texture, and then a darker gray with texture. And I want one other one, and that's with this levels on, but the texture turned off. So I'll shift click on the mask. Now it makes a dark version. And then I click, let's make a new one, and you'll see layer comps allow me to, in effect, record the visit visibility, position, and appearance. So we'll just make one more and click OK. Now when you save the document as a PSD, these layer comps are built into it that can be used in other programs like Illustrator and InDesign, but also, as you'll see now, new, the ability to use them within a smart object, which is very cool. Now let's, I'll be showing you one of the other things that's new in this version, and that is if I were to, for example, let's just get this star here and decide I want another star down here. Well, as soon as I do, now it's saying, well, that layer comp that I made previously, now it's not checked because it's I've added something, I've changed to it. In the past, I would have had to go through, click on each one and tell it, did I want to update that or not? Because you can update now the visibility, the position, or the appearance. So I'm going to select all of these layers and say, I want to update the visibility for all of them. So now, as you see, as I go through that star is there and it's updating each time. So that's part of what's new is the ability to update everything across the board or individual areas. This would be the full update and then individual things like visibility position and layer style. So that's kind of the first part and we're going to close and save this. Now, recently there was an addition to Photoshop CC which was the ability to make linked smart objects. This is not new, but there's a nice enhancement to it. The difference was in the past, whenever you put a uh, place a document in, it was always embedded. So you didn't have the option. Now you have the option of either being embedded or linked. In this case, I want to do a linked smart object because I want to use the logo within several different documents and be able to update it on the fly. So I'm going to go to pl file, place, linked. And we'll go and find that PSD file. It's going to come in in whatever last state I left it, which in this case has the red logo with the texture. And then I come over here and I'll do the same thing. Place linked. And scale it down. Position accordingly. Now I could also, of course, do things like uh, change the opacity and the layer style because it's still treated like a regular layer. But here's the first part, and this is again not the new part, is if I decide at this point, now that I've done this, I have a last minute thought that I'm not sure I like the typeface that's used there. Double click, come back here to the layer, and let's make a fairly significant change so we can see it. If I save it, then instantly you'll see it has updated within these two documents. And again, that part isn't new, but here's the new part that I think is really interesting. Normally, if I went back to this document and made any change here and saved it, it's gonna update in both of these documents. But now I have the ability to say, well, this is a, a smart object. If I go to the properties panel, there's a new portion to it that tells me, let me look inside that and look, there's all the layer comps. So if I decide on this particular photograph, I think it might look better gray with no texture or maybe the 
darker one with texture. You'll see it's just picking between them, but it didn't affect this one because it's on a per document basis. So that's really interesting because smart objects have always had this nice ability to update like this when it's linked across multiple documents, but now you can still keep some individuality. That's pretty interesting. You also have the ability to decide, maybe in this case, I don't wanna have that link anymore so I could choose to embed it. Like anything that's linked, you just have to be careful that you don't end up moving or deleting or changing the name of the placed file or else that link will be broken. And in this properties panel, you would get a little warning dialog box giving you the opportunity to try and update it if necessary or go and find it if the, if the link is broken. But since I'm such a big fan of both smart objects and layer comps, this is one of my favorite features of this update because it combines them in a really, really powerful way.